let's talk about IWMY, the latest dividend, and why, honestly, it's been good for me. Um, let's get into it. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper. All right, all right. Um, you know, IWMY's last dividend was 88 cents pre-reverse split, right? And um, I was expecting like 260, 265 maybe, maybe 280, a little over their three to one reverse split. I had no idea it would be like a four to one, right? You know, it's paying 360. That's a lot more than I was expecting. And, and for me, that's that's wonderful. And, and I'll tell you why. So I bought IWMY the day it came out from inception. I already had JEPY, QQQY, and then when that came out, I went right in on it. And, um, you know, it's clear to see with these defiance funds that the chart continues to go down while their underlines continue to go up, right? So when you look at that um, at first glance, that's alarming, right? That, that's like, oh my gosh, this, this thing is horrendous. And so I had to change my mentality and my tactics with IWMY. And since I've done that, it, it's been great. So typically, you know, I like things like AMZ, Navidi, things that I can either core compound or swing trade or make money both ways, right? Not just from dividends, but from share price appreciation. We, we don't get that with the defiance funds. It's just, well, with those three, QQQI, JEPI, and IWMY, SPY T and is a whole nother deal there, but we're not getting that. So, so I lose that portion of my revenue, of, of ways I make money for my family by trading or, or swing trading or what, whatever. And so we, I lose that facet with IWMY. So I just changed my mentality with it and went to uh, house money uh, work only on it. What do I mean by that? I'm just, I, all I care about is getting it paid off and then having free money, house money, whatever you want to call it, from that point forward. And since I shifted my mentality and my tactics based upon that thought process, it's been great. Now, I have not added up all the dividends yet to see where I am and how close I am to that magical point. But this dividend of 360 is definitely going to help. Um, now, also, I've stayed green on IWMY since inception. And the reason is, and I've got many videos about this, I am very intimate with IWM chart. IWM is ETF of the Russell, okay? It, it trades lockstep. Now I know there's gonna, someone's gonna come on here, some purist and say, Mike, there might be a half a point percentage difference. I get it. But for me, IWM is, is darn near lockstep with the Russell. And I've traded IWM for years because it trades in channels. It is one of the easiest ETFs or stocks to trade in the market. It is the most predictable one that, that I've ever traded in, in all the years I've traded. And so because I'm so intimate with IWM, I buy my IWMY. Number one, I buy some on X date, okay? So, you know, when the share price drops from the dividend, and I also wait for it to hit the bottom of the channel that it's trading in, which helps my cost basis. Like I said, I got lots of videos of, of how I trade IWM and how I've traded it for years. And I mean it, guys. It is so doggone predictable. Like in our membership group, we shorted it when it got to the top of the channel. Then we went long when it got to the, to the bottom of the channel. And, and we played this thing in our membership group making money both ways. This has just been phenomenal, IWM, for my family for, man, well over five years now. If you want to join the membership group, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. So, 
because I've actively traded it and I'm so intimately familiar with it, that keeps me green. I don't just buy because IWMY is red. I wait for a level, right? Therefore, increasing share size, reducing my average cost. Now, when I say green, I'm not green on share price. That's never going to happen. Like, long term, it's never going to happen. Yes, but I stay green because the dividends outpace my share price decline, okay? And so I am extremely happy with IWMY. Now I sold out of QQQY and doubled up my position to IWMY a few months ago. Why did I do that? Well, because of rate cuts that are expected to come and small caps with that rate cut are expected to go higher. So it made sense for me to cut QQQI and I was up on that one with dividends, not share price. And so I sold it for profit and moved it all into IWMY. I got my share price or my total share count where I want it at that point. I don't put any of my own money into IWMY. I got it where I want it. I got the maximum amount of shares I want out of pocket. All I've been doing is reinvesting all the dividends. I'm not retired yet. I don't have to live off that. Some of you may have to pull whatever percentage and reinvest some percentage. So with that being said, it made it easy for this play to get the free money or house money, whatever, right? It made it easier to do that. And with these large dividends that I think it's gonna to continue to pay over the next few months, that's gonna accelerate that for me. And another thing, I'm really happy they reverse split. And I made a video about this a long time ago when they did. Why was I happy that they did that three to one? Well, because we know the share price declined right so when they bump that thing up to 40 bucks or whatever that gives it a lot more time before it reverse splits again which it will every guys all these yield max funds are going to reverse split i've been saying that since they came out all the defiance funds i don't know about spy t or qqqt or whatever more time is going to be needed for those but all of them are going to reverse Split. and they may reverse split multiple times you have to understand that when you're getting in here with the cover call strategy once if we get into any kind of downtrending market it's going to happen that's just it and that's why i think when you're looking at you know getting the house money or free money it's so important that you understand that so this is just me. I know a lot of people don't like IWMY or Defiance. And that's, you know, that's fine. It's whatever your plan is for you. But for me and my goals and what I'm working on, it's been great. I got no complaints. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.